A few months ago, I picked a few learning goals and then I failed at all of them. I failed to reach every single one of those goals. I know I am not alone in this. I've talked to many friends who have the same experience happen. You really wanna learn something and you set a goal to learn it. Maybe you pick a project or a book to read and then months go by and you never actually hit your learning goals. There's been so many times that I have failed at learning something new when I told myself I would. And so I wanna talk about some of the ways that I failed and three tips so that you actually accomplish your learning goals. The first tip that I would give is don't announce when you are learning something or building something until you've actually learned that thing. I used to get a new computer science book, for example, post a picture about it on social media, like, hey, I'm reading this. And then you kind of get this dopamine hit. People are like, wow, that's amazing. You're reading that, you're learning that. But maybe you're just on the first page or the first few chapters and you kind of get this reward for doing something that you haven't actually done. So now I try to post only when I've actually substantially made progress on that book or project. If you are building something, for example, that's great. Maybe you can post about what you built that day, like the small part of the project that you got done. Hey, I implemented this feature. Or maybe you're reading a book and you can say, hey, look at this exercise from the book. I completed this exercise. Or here's what I learned from this chapter. The f but I've noticed that announcing things to your friends before they are at their completion means that you probably won't complete that project because you already get the kind of dopamine hit, you get the reward, and it feels like you've already done that thing even when you haven't. I think it was Ryan Holiday who actually said that if you go and look at Twitter, I believe, you can see numerous people who announce, I'm writing a book. And then if you go look at the percentage of people who actually finish that book, it is quite low. Okay. The next tip I would give is don't do projects that you don't care about. I think when I first started out specifically in tech, I started building different projects that would look good on my portfolio. I thought they were the projects that you quote unquote need to get hired. I don't even know what these magical projects are, but long story short, I never finished any of these projects because I just didn't care about them. Like, building another clone or to-do application, I feel like my GitHub is a graveyard of clone starters. So why would I finish them? Like what is the incentive or the drive to actually finish? And this is my tip for you. If my learning goal would have been actually to build something that I care about, then I think the outcome would have been quite different. So build things you actually care about, build something you wanna see in the world, build something you're genuinely interested in. If you really do think it sounds incredible to build a clone of something, build a Netflix clone, go ahead. But what I've found is that more often than not, I don't really care about building those general good for portfolio projects. Okay, so my last tip is set very small, realistic, almost pathetic goals. So my biggest failure when it comes to a learning goal and how I failed is that I will tell myself, okay, I'm going to learn this thing for the next month. And like every morning I'll wake up at 7am and I'll work on it for two hours. And then inevitably I wake up at nine and I didn't hit my goal. And I'm not really learning this thing because I set these huge unrealistic goals for myself. There's this idea that you are both a bad employee and a bad boss. So the bad boss tells you the night before, like you are going to wake up early in the morning and study for three hours. And then the bad employee wakes up the next day and says, oh, sorry, I slept in, I'm late. And so instead try to set realistic, almost lame, small goals. For example, I'm going to learn about this thing for 15 minutes every single day. Just set that goal for the month. And in that case, even if you just do 15 minutes a day, I think that's much better than setting a grandiose, huge plan that you are going to fail at. I kind of see this happen with dieting, for example. So people set a diet, they're like, I'm gonna eat so clean for 30 days. And then you have like one bite of pizza, you fall off the wagon and you get sad and you don't diet for a full week. This has happened to me with learning. I say I'm going to learn a bunch about something and then I don't do it for three hours the next day. I feel really guilty 
fancy and then suddenly I'm not studying that thing at all. So set really small realistic goals even if it's just learn about this thing for 15 minutes every day. My older sister Randall has always told me to do this. She says just do 15 minutes or just do even five minutes of learning and she'll also tell me once I get into it I'll usually do more than five minutes and sometimes I really do only five minutes of work but very often during other times it ends up being 30 minutes or an hour of studying or learning. Okay so these are my three tips. One is don't announce you are learning about the thing until you've actually learned about it. Two is build projects you actually care about and three is set yourself very small realistic goals. Once I've started doing these three things I've noticed that I'm failing at my learning goals a lot less. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you love this video and you'd like to see more and I'd love to hear more about your study goals and learning goals in the comments below.